Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Now, I just want to take your attention just to this little bit right here where there's the Path of Exiles 2 wiki and how they've put up there helping to keep the NDA intact. That feels like a pile of dog shit thrown in the face of grinding gear games who are gracious enough to give you a pass on this. And I think this is just a little bit going a little bit too far, personally speaking. So if you don't know what's been going on and you haven't heard of Extra Life and all the stuff that's been going on, Extra Life is an RPG reviewer and content creator that creates wikis and guides etc etc for many RPGs that have come out for the past I don't know 10 12 years. Special Life as I was correctly told in the last video are three people the girlfriend the guy who does all of the the video the guys that he who think basically runs the channel him and someone who does the wiki stuff i can't remember their names right now i apologize for that but as of right now fixture life actually dropped a review of the video now this opened up a few avenues a few doors in the speculation of what's been going on it opened up the door the fact that a lot of the content creators were told that they weren't going no one was going to be getting early review access for the games especially some of the more prominent path of exiles creators for example Darth microtransaction right now who's one of the bigger ones and we also have one from Gazi as well over here never have a seen poe give out review access before but to pick extra blah 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 we talked about this in a previous thing so a lot of people were really upset about it there's a lot of people now that are upset about it and not just the content creators like i said in the last video and the video that got released actually had a good significant amount of views as you can see over here before it was taken down so then to get to the next part of the story path of exiles the grinding gear games actually dropped something and there's, there's i wanted i want to talk about this very important words part of the stipulation that media were given is that this is for review purposes only they may share their opinion of the game but are not allowed to produce guide style content from this version that would spoil the discovery of the game or post unedited playthroughs now i'll just take us back here where we're going to have actually information on the bosses kind of can be seen as guide content and them already having the information put up on the website it's just not it's just not been put up for people to see just yet it is ready to go the guide content is ready to go on the wiki now Graniger games have to do something about this because if they don't uh, they just won't have p if they don't do anything about this gentleman right now because this isn't the first time it won't be the last time that he's done some naughty shenanigans. Now, I'm not going to shit on him like in the last video because I was just angry and it, there's just no point. I was just saying things off the top of the cuff because I was frustrated. I'm not going to shit on him this time. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to push Granite Gear games or at least explain to him that this guy is going to screw with your credibility when it comes to guides and reviews and stuff like that it, it the, the internet is a fickle thing people are fickle as soon as i mean i don't actually you know what grinding game grinding gear games are so loved even by me that i don't think i can hate them for doing literally anything right now if the game is good i don't really care about any of the other stuff personally but right now we have no gameplay to play i have no game to play so i'm making content about drama that's what we're doing right now and when the game finally comes out we'll be getting all of the guide style content out there and information on locations of stuff and if, if there's something that you want to see remember about that we shouldn't click on content we don't want it to ruin our gaming experience we just don't want to do it there's another post here uh, where never sing talks about why he wants to elaborate on why this like special life situation and criticize it so sharply it's because of the po1 wiki and the Elden ring wiki L look at look at all the ads everywhere chat stream embedded to promote the content over here we got huge ad space more ad space there's ads 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 and if you go to the path of exiles wiki no ads no ads no ads no ads no ads. there is just a different form of content the community actually helping the community whereas this guy over here which i i personally man the guy's trying to make his money that, that's what he's doing he's making his money the best way he can and like you can hate him all you want for that he's just doing what he's doing to make himself in a comfortable position in life so like you can't really hate him too much for that shit even though it is a bit under the table it is a bit dodgy but i said i wasn't gonna shit on him for this thing here we got another one from ds lily people will defend literally anything on the internet and i understood that now with the past two videos there were some comments on there of me like basically what they were saying i was doing was going off the coattails of fish for life to make myself more popular which uh, actually if you look at my like to dislike ratio on uh the videos i'm making they're not they're not as high as all my other ones like they're they're 
and like 75%, but we're still, I'm still getting quite a few dislikes. And I'm not gaining as many view, like I'm not getting as many subscribers as you'd think you would making content on Summer Life, Extra Life. I didn't make it to do that. I, I made it to call out what the shenanigans is that's going on. That's what I did it for. Neverson carried on to talk about a wiki as a community tool. Facial Life's head start will allow them to prep data mined content. This is a big thing. This was a big thing that Neverson actually brought to my attention with this post. Preparing data mined content. Prepare your SEO. Prepare content to launch a vastly worse version of the wiki in hopes that the community will edit their wiki so that they will make ad VIP YouTube and Twitch money. Now, if you actually think about that, they don't allow that the, the facial life has a very limited access for people to make on their content on uh, on their wiki. Very, very, very limited. It's not as easy as going onto the wiki page and have most people be able to edit it in the way that they want to. It's not as it's not as like as easy as having the community build your wiki for it. It's never been something that he's done. If it was, then it would be much better because there'll be more up-to-date content on there once he's gone past the game that content no longer gets updated fully it does somewhat sometimes for specific things but not all the time it then goes on to talk about the poe community it has a tradition to deliver high quality tools up-to-date content with minimal ads premium here are some poe ninja pob filters craft of exile awakened poe trade podb poe wiki and poe labs i don't think fextra wiki fits these standards now they won't fit those standards because those standards are for people to just click on and get exactly a smaller what fextra life is good at with these guides on this thing is very specific things he answers very specific questions like where do i find this unique item for example and he'll just have a page on just that unique item and because it's going to be something that's going to be wanted he puts a page up there and it does actually get done it does get sorted so like he, he does it in a way that actually is good somewhat it's just there's other things that he's not really doing in a good way we've got quinn here the legend the man the twitch man quinn crazy dude surely facial life isn't going to use this review version of the game to create guide style content at this point how does ggg not understand the guy who runs this website and is a disingenuous parasite that will do anything in order to appear at the top of the google search which is i'm not even gonna deny that is actually pretty damn true what's happening right now and for me i feel like he's just like rubbed in the face of grinding gig games who graciously did what they did and did the post out that we like we've seen it loads of times here already they, they put this post out of saying that it's nothing to do with him but now we can clearly see that he's breaking the rules there from their words before they didn't say anything they didn't say anything he dropped the video they can say oh it was our fault it wasn't fixed life blah 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 but now they've said specifically that we can't do any guide style content and he's already got walkthroughs for path of exile 2 wiki which were up with a path of exile 2 wiki act one walkthrough it was uh the review version of the game it's not the version of the game that we're going to be having but this has all been taken down now and we had the path post up here helping to keep the nda intact he already has the information there he already has these guides there he already has the bosses and uh, the items and all this stuff he's probably got because he's got a decent amount of team that goes in and actually data mines a lot of the content which is something that ds lily talked about before she talked about how like uh they hope people don't data mine from the xbox when you could load the game up onto your xbox a couple of weeks early that's been out there for a little while now so the prep like the data mine, data mine content is going to be there regardless because people already have access to it on the whole range of eight i don't really know how it works i'm not a maths whiz or a uh, like uh, some kind of being able to go in and data mine stuff. I, I've never done that in my life, so I don't know how difficult it would be, but I'm sure you can actually do it with the download you got onto the Xbox. I'm sure there's a way you can get around it. There's some beautifully brilliant minds out there. Ollie has actually sent this to me as a, as a response to one of the messages I wrote on someone else's post. Going through the wiki, it's all like this, either troll messages or memes. So I don't know if he's trying to meme it properly or if he's actually taking the piss coming to think of it. Local talked about how like he should be IP banned actually surprised this cinema copy of all people which is kind of true like people know should know by now what kind of creator he is there's people that really like him and there's people that really don't and i'm on the side that kind of doesn't like his style of content i don't know what he's like as a person he seems like a pretty decent dude he might be the devil or he could be an angel who the hell knows i don't really care i just don't like the style of content that he does and there's gonna be plenty of people out there who you're gonna write down in the comments right now i don't like your style of content i don't that's okay you can dislike and like whatever you like i don't like his content his style of content the way he brings his content forward the way he does all of those things i don't like that that's a personal opinion and i couldn't give two shits if people disagree with that because it's still gonna be my opinion it's not gonna change because you turn around and say, nah, he's not that bad. I am a grown ass man that looks at grown ass content and says, I don't like that content. That's all it is. That's all it's going to be. I've been playing a hell of a lot of Cyberpunk 2077 recently. 
and that literally looks like a gym man. what the hell is this that's actually nuts a little sidestep there yeah i've been playing that for like three or four days i've been grinding the crap out of it because it, it, i'm actually having a lot of fun there well, well that's a different thing for a different time never sing also talked about how unfortunately the miscommunication continues since fetch for life continues they posted a full walkthrough guide on their wiki and a ton of data mined info which has recently been taken down i might add has been taken off of there it's not on there anymore at least as far as i know we can go in there and have a look hopefully where is the uh let, let's see path of eggs why have i got caps on exile 2 wiki fextra life let's try and see if there's anything that's popping up here perfect 2 wiki fextra life here we go perfect 2 wiki guides all classes skill gems uh, uh everything you need to know path of exiles 2 what what's new get hyped features and details some stuff over here what else do we have on here let's see if we can click on something so early access patch notes dlc dlc may allah smite this fuck neighbor with efficiency and pace complex are they putting <laughs> <laughs> they're putting comments from that that's actually kind of funny for each of the things so everyone clicks on these but the thing is okay i don't know if i'm gonna get uh demonetized for that <laughs> he's putting this shit on there on purpose but look over here you see over here this is uh, what's going on over and asking and the tweets and stuff and there's the ads so every time people are clicking on this because people are coming over here to check i'm paying him right now just to just to show you guys look letukan has arrived and it's all here every time i click on every page just to see what memes there are and there's people doing this he's making his money now he's making his money it's, it kind of feels like it's a master plan like next one of my friends was talking about how it's like he's he's gonna make his money on it regardless and blah 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 and i was like well really in in the future of things this was my argument to nick the future could, is going to be worse because people and developers are not going to trust him to have review keys anymore if he keeps fucking about and doing this stuff it's going to hurt his bottom line later on it might be bringing him in a little bit of money now but it's going to hurt it later on but then ggg actually posted that it was their fault and because they've done that he's in the free and clear for the most part for the most part of his fan base he's going to be free and clear he hasn't done anything wrong he was given the wrong information but now he's got this up here on this path of exiles 2 wiki with all of these links with random ass memes with ads everywhere can i put a comment in here it's anonymous this one though what should we put in there how's that ad money see if we can submit it i am not a robot submit anonymous how's that ad money okay it, that, i can do it so someone else just did that earlier on it might not have been him it could have been him it might not be on the the comments part so let's have a look see if there's anything because there was loads of stuff on here here we go bad <laughs> affects your life bad it's actually kind of funny what he's done here i have to admit like that's that's kind of funny quinn fextra joe kick w look <laughs> <laughs> oh that's hilarious I haven't seen that shit yet i just got back after going i did a gig and a few other things people right in here that's actually hilarious like <laughs> okay no i'm not gonna make him any more revenue i'm kicking off of that shit and that's basically what we have for like what what's going on do you do you guys think the same way as me and a few other people do you think he is masterminding this to get way more clicks and stuff to be at the top of the seo once the game actually releases he's going to be the top of the search engine because people have searched it already and clicked on it so many times that it's going to be helping him forward do you think he has some like giga brain that's actually figured that shit out and just does that every single time because he's he's kind of done things like this in the past but i i wouldn't give him as that much like credit really he's thinking about it because it's it's a lot do you think he knew what he was doing do you think ggg threw themselves under the bus for him to be more open to listening to his review if they said that it's it was okay and that everything was fine do you think they should do something now that he's doing all of this stuff with the random comments about the NDA and stuff on his wiki that has all of the information already starting to put into there? People have seen that there's uh, actual content on there from data mined content. People have seen that there's all kinds of stuff on there and everyone's kind of getting upset with it i think ggg needs to make it like uh, an announcement at least a little bit be as open as they're still continuing to be open if there's something else behind this they need to let everyone know and it will just calm things down a little bit and i can stop making drama content and then the game comes out on the sixth and i can start making real content because this isn't real content this is just me complaining about shit and updating you on some madness that isn't really that big of a deal in the long long run of things the like the whole grand scheme of things it's not really that big of a deal but it, it's fun and i just want to make more content so that guy who said i was trying to grow off of him like i mean who who doesn't make channel who doesn't make videos to grow man just because i have something that i want to talk about doesn't mean that i don't can't grow from it it's kind of weird man but let me know down below what you guys are thinking what, what do you think is happening what do you think is going on do you think this is madness or do you think it's something else let me know down below i want to thank you for watching play safe and avoid local chat scams